Patriarch Cyril V redirects here. It can also refer to Cyril V of Constantinople. Patriarch Cyril V Tanis, also known as Cyril V of Antioch, born in 1680, Damascus, died on January 10, 1760, became the first Patriarch of Antioch and all the East, and Alexandria and Jerusalem of the Melkite Greek Catholic Church following the schism of the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of Antioch in 1724. Cyril re-established full communion with the Catholic Church. Life Seraphim Tanis was born in Damascus in 1680 and he was the nephew of Eutimios Safi, Bishop of Sidon. On August 3, 1701 he arrived in Marseille, France and from 1702 to 1710 he studied in the College of the Propaganda in Rome. Returned in Syria he was ordained priest by his uncle and he was distinguished for his sermons. He was appointed preacher of the Patriarchate of Antioch by Patriarch Cyril V. Zim. Like many of his fellow clerics Seraphim Tanis favored re-establishing full communion with the Roman Catholic Church. He was elected on September 24, 1724 by the Melkites of Damascus as the new Patriarch of Antioch, and was consecrated as Cyril V in the Patriarchal Cathedral of Damascus on October 1, 1724 by Neophytos Nasri, Eparch of Sadnaya assisted by Basile Finas, Eparch of Banias and by Eutemius Fadal, Eparch of Zal and Forzol. As Cyril was a prominent pro-Westerner, the Orthodox Patriarch Jeremiah's III of Constantinople, felt his authority was challenged. Jeremiah's declared Cyril's election to be invalid, excommunicated him, and appointed Sylvester of Antioch 1696 a young Greek monk, to the Patriarchal See of Antioch. Jeremiah's consecrated Bishop Sylvester in Istanbul on October 8, 1724, the Sultan Ahmed III withdrew the recognition initially conferred on Cyril, who was forced to flee as emissaries of Sylvester arrived from Constantinople with a mandate for his arrest. Cyril took refuge at the Holy Saviour Monastery near Sidon, located in modern-day Lebanon. Cyril's safety there was guaranteed by the Shahab emirs. Sylvester unleashed a hard persecution against all who elected or supported Cyril, many people were exiled and all churches were taken by Sylvester's party. This persecution strengthened the faith of the Catholic Melkites who, even without a formal hierarchy, continued to increase in number meeting in secret places and celebrating the Divine Liturgy in homes at night. Although the populace of Aleppo was mainly pro-Catholic in sentiment, the people initially supported Sylvester. However, Sylvester exacerbated divisions with his heavy-handed rule of the church, and many Melkites chose to acknowledge Cyril V as patriarch instead. The people united against Sylvester, forcing him to flee Aleppo. The Greek domination over the Byzantine Orthodox Patriarchate of Antioch lasted until 1899. Notwithstanding the many requests by Cyril for recognition, the papacy moved with great caution and took six years to recognize Cyril as the legitimate patriarch of Antioch. The decision was made by Pope Benedict XIII and communicated, almost unofficially, to the Melkites in the Synod held on April 25, 1730. From this time onwards, the Melkite Greek Catholic Church has existed separately from and in parallel to the Greek Orthodox Church of Antioch in the Middle East. The pallium, formal recognition of the patriarchal authority, was granted by Rome to Cyril only on February 3, 1744, about 20 years after the 1724 election. The reasons for this caution and delay by Rome to recognize Cyril as patriarch can be summarized as follows. The election of Cyril had been not planned by Rome and Rome already had Catholic professions of faith by the previous patriarchs Athanasius III Dabas in 1687 and Cyril V. Zaim in 1716. Rome didn't want to split the Melkite hierarchy hoping for a complete union. Only the persecutions by Sylvester and the incoming Greek domination over the Byzantine Orthodox Patriarchate of Antioch left no other choice. Cyril followed Eutimios Safi in introducing many liturgical Latinizations, dividing thus the Catholic Melkites between who kept the Byzantine rite untouched and who mixed the rites. For this reason many Catholic Melkite monks were initially very suspicious of Cyril. As already happened for Eutimios Safi, the Pope took a strong position against Cyril's Latinizations, and his recognition in 1729 was subject to his renouncing any changes to the Byzantine rite and uses. 
The Latinizations, supported by many Latin missionaries particularly by the Franciscans, continued to be a problem in the Melkite Church until the final position taken by the Pope on December 24, 1743, with the issue of the encyclical de mandatum that put an end to the mix of rites. This same document forbade Latin missionaries to accept the faithful of Byzantine rites into the Latin rite. Cyril V. Tannes summoned synods in 1736, 1751, and 1756 in order to give a structure to the Melkite Church, but without a full success. Cyril had failed to unit two Melkite Basilian orders, the Basilian Salvatorian Order and Basilian Schwerite Order of St. John the Baptist. He renounced in 1759 and died on January 10, 1760, leaving a complicated succession. See also Patriarch of Antioch Melkite Greek Catholic Patriarchate of Antioch and all the East Melkite Greek Catholic Church Notes Topic Topic References Topic Serge, Serge, nineteen ninety three. The Melkite Church. Boston, Sophia Press. Dick, Igonatios, two thousand four. Melkites, Greek Orthodox and Greek Catholics of the Patriarchates of Antioch, Alexandria and Jerusalem. Boston, Sophia Press. External links Melkite Greek Catholic Patriarchate of Antioch, Alexandria and Jerusalem L'Eglise Melkite, the Melkite Church. Melkite Catholic Web Ring Extensive history of the Melkite Church mb-soft.com gcatholic.org